Well, a new year brings opportunity to face old challenges with a fresh perspective. Host of Real Ag Radio, Sean Haney, joins us now with a review of some of the main issues facing Canada uh, now in 2021. Thank you so much, Sean, for being with us. What do you see as the key challenges to tackle for the Minister of Ag and Agri-Food? Well, Happy New Year to everybody out there in, RF, in the RFD TV audience. So I think from the Minister of Agriculture, Marie Claude Beau, there, there's several key items that I really think that she needs to focus on if she's going to be speaking and representing her farming constituents. And one of them is to fish or cut bait on this uh, business risk management reform. Now, this is something that was heavily lobbied in 2020 by farm groups. To, to really no result, uh, it really it, it kind of fell flat. The, the provinces and the federal government cannot come to any sort of agreement. And I really believe that if she can't find some sort of consensus with the provinces, specifically the prairie provinces, by sometime early in the first quarter, she needs to cut on that one and start to focus on the 2023 uh, BRM package. Also, address the possible carbon tax exemptions. The, the federal government r rolled out a federal carbon tax plan. We're going to see significant increases. This is definitely the stick part of uh, dealing with, with climate change, and farm groups uh, are really going to be pushing for it hard. And then to sort out some of the details on the clean fuel standard, and the, the fertilizer reduction targets are a part of that. There's a voluntary component in the federal climate plan that was uh, outlined in December, talking about a 30% reduction in synthetic fertilizer use. So uh, that's something that she's going to need to clarify what the specifics of that are. Right, a lot coming up in this year. Now, are there some other items of kind of honorable mention for Bobo to tackle in 2021? Yeah, I think there's some other items as well, and, and they are also critically important, to be honest with you. One of them is the vaccine rollout to essential ag workers like like meat workers. You've seen that same sort of discussion happening in the U.S. It's, it's happening here in Canada as well. Also, people that work in greenhouses is another example where we need to get the vaccine uh, to these to these people for sure. Also, develop a relationship with Tom Vilsack, uh, the incoming USDA Ag Secretary. I think that's also critically important. Now, uh, Bobo had a good relationship with Sonny Perdue as well as Lawrence McCauley, uh, who is the former Ag Minister, had a very good relationship with Mr. Purdue. So that's going to be important. And a part of that will definitely be dealing with this US USTR challenge of the DR, or sorry, the dairy TRQs under the new USMCA agreement. Uh, that's something that's going to have to be ironed out here fairly shortly in 2021. All right, Sean, thank you so much for being with us. That is host of Real Ag Radio, Sean Haney. And, of course, you can catch him every day on his show, Real Ag Radio, at 4.30 p.m. Eastern weekdays on Rural Radio, Channel 147 on Sirius XM. And we'll talk to him again tomorrow on Market Day Report.